Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Sim Airport in Early Access. We are back on the experimental server, the April 8th build. And let's see what's going on with our airport. We got us a Rexicana 767 taxiing out. Uh, we got us an Aerotime Embraer. Uh, he's loading. And they'll be rolling out here shortly. And 707. So, let's see what's going on with our airport. We're still a little bit in the hole, but we're making money. <clears throat> let's take a look real quick at the P&L for, whoa, whoa, wait, what? Oh. oh, this is a little different. Yeah, the UI's changed. Hmm. Day 22, made $862,000. And most of our money went out the window was, you know, to the guy with the gun to our head. And uh, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's see what we've got. Fuel reserves, 1.4 million liters. That should last us a couple of days. All right, let's see. What else is going on? So we got five active gates. Gate A6 here is the one we just brought online, right? And uh, we're going to check and see if we could slot in a couple more flights. I think we picked up a couple more flights for tomorrow. We're up to five. Let's just take a quick gander. We need another... Uh, we can fit two more afternoon flights. So we're looking for these numbers here. Star flight, what do you got? 707, nope, that won't do. Aerostar, 707, that will not do. Rexcon is all bigger airplanes. And Sparkjet, excuse me. Sparkjet has a 707. Great, swell. So we're stuck. Okay, uh, let's roll on forward here and then see what we're going to do. I think the next thing we were looking at was we were going to have to make a major expansion of ticketing to facilitate bringing in flights on this gate. Um, we're kind of taking a look at it. And boy, I just don't know if the... I mean, I know security is going to be able to handle the PAX throughput. It's ticketing that I'm concerned with. Um, so what to do about that? Hmm. That creates a little bit of a conundrum. Not sure what we're going to do about it. Uh, we could add on more terminal over here and another ticketing section. Which I don't guess would be too bad. Let's kind of plan this out here real quick. All right, so one thing we know... We're going to use this. Is we're going to need to hook up right here for um, baggage coming off the ticket encounters, right? Because you cannot have the two touch, so we got to have that gap. So that wall will be just fine right there. Um, let's see. And if you flip the thing around, okay, so it's going to have to go to here because the connection's on the left side. So then we have one, then two. Wait, let's put it over here. There's one, and then we skip two, and then there's two there. So there's our five ticket desks, okay? And then we need this much space here, more or less, ten, ten tiles uh, to handle whatever. Let's go out ten, and then we need to run that over to here. Now, walls around that would be okay, within that 10 tile. That'd give us a couple of uh, tiles on the other side. Uh, and then we got to build the, the stairs upstairs here. Which means upstairs we got to expand. Just enough to fit this though. So just right here. We just need to accommodate the stairs. Because then those people will come up and then they'll go through here and then they'll hit security over here. And since we've got first class and flight crew lines at both ends, uh, we'd be good to go. So uh, let's see. So the first thing I think we're going to need to do is see if we can have building walls out to here, across here, and then we just need to close it off there. Ticketing desks. Uh, let's see. We do up a little uh, queue line action here. Three by seven. Yep, that'll work. And one, two, three. Three by seven. That'll work. And then we can do a single wide line here. And then this would be a three by seven. Yep, that'll work. And then we have stairs over here. So we have stairs. And, okay, so one, two, three by two. And that way this upstairs will be two 
wide. Uh, you know what? Maybe we need that further out. So maybe we need to make it so that it's maybe like four at least. Four at least upstairs. Um, so I'm trying to project it. All right, so let's look upstairs. All right, so there's two already here, two tiles. So then we would add these two sets of tiles. That seemed like a wide enough section. Yeah, I, you know what? I think that'll work. That should work. Hmm. All right, so let's go back upstairs. Drop down. And this is where... That's going to be open... Sp uh, that's going to be the floor upstairs. All right, so then we need one, two, three by two. And over here, one by three by two. Or two by three. And then there's the escalator. Okay. I can dig it. And then we can get rid of this wall here. And that'll create a little pass through right here. Hmm. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Kind of like it. Okay, and then we will drop a door. Uh, let's say... Now this will kind of be a temporary. Um, we'll put it right here. And we'll put some uh, kiosks and stuff. Take any kiosk over there. Okay, so to get this done, we're going to have to build quick. So let's get... Let's get busy! Um, foundation, 2251. All the gates are on. Let's go ahead and just not take a chance of blowing that up. Um, so, we're going to build this to here. Uh, we're going to build this to here. And then add this here. Cool. Alright, so there's our foundation. How many workers we got down there? We've still got a butt ton of workers chilling down. We sure do. Alright, let's get that stuff delivered and get this stuff rocking and rolling. Planes are rolling out. So, been a few days since you've done a video, eh, Train? Yes, you're right. And you know what? Yes, we've also missed on that uh, contest I was talking about. So we're going to knock that out here in the next couple days. So here's the deal. I wound up finally getting a position where I can buy Tower 3D Pro. And it is awesome. Oh, it's so cool. I like it so much. Um, so, yeah, I've been spending some time playing Tower 3D Pro. And uh, so I need to get off the schneid and, uh, you know, take care of uh, my peeps and uh, this game here. So we're going to do that, but I also think I'm going to start doing Tower 3D Pro videos too. And I think you guys will like them. If you, if you haven't seen it or you're not familiar with the game, it's, it's an air traffic control game. And so it, it relates to this. If you like airplanes, you like airports, blah, 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 you know, it's really cool. Um, and uh, I think you'll like it. it it's um, very realistic. I mean, it's real maps of real airports. And real airlines, of course, that's a mod you have to download. So I downloaded that mod. Um, and um, so it, it just it looks amazing. It, it sounds amazing. It just feels amazing. It's just it's a great game. It is really it is really incredible. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to do this this way, and we're going to set this up kind of like we did the others. All right, so this is going to be the same deal here. We're going to skip to the loo. Um, and then out there. And then this one will start here and go to here and then go to here and down to here and over to here and up to here and er, stop there. Now we're going to come in and get this stuff cleared out. All right, cool. Now that gets that cleared out, so now we're back to here and we finish this. Cool. Okay, uh, those will get delivered and done. Now we need to go back to construction. We need to build some foundation up on the second floor. So let's bump upstairs. And we're going to need enough to accommodate like three tiles beyond. I think this would do. One, two, three. Yeah, I think that'll do. So let's kick that. 
And uh, so we got the other stuff. There's the door. There's the sidewalk, which means then we'll be able to install some more ticketing kiosks over here. And we're also going to move the drop-off zone up a little bit. So it kind of is in, in between these two uh, sets of doors. But we want to kind of, well, no, because I figured the LRT people are going to mainly go in the lower set. So this one will kind of, kind of try to offset it just a little bit up this way. And we'll see if that helps. Okay, uh, I think we're working on several things. Utilities, we're going to need this. Oh, we've got to take out uh, clear. we got to take that out. Good. Then we got to take pick this baggage hub, set that up as consumer. And then we're going to go to utilities. We're going to connect all that. Oh, I guess it does come off that side. Okay. That's fine. Uh, then we need objects, and we need a escalator up. Wait, is the upstairs done yet? I don't think it is. No, we're still waiting on the materials. Okay, go. Oh, we got to hire five more uh, staff. Okay, very good. That's done. Now. Escalator up. Let's go back downstairs. It's going the wrong way. Rotate, rotate. Boom. And then a couple of staircases, stairway ups. Not usable in that position. Page up. Why not? Oh, wait. What? Why is this here? Maybe that's blocking it. There we go. <laughs> I was blocking it. Stupid outdoor gate I forgot about. Uh, which, speaking of, yeah, I guess we did knock out that uh, gate up on this end. I neglected to pay attention to that aspect, so let's go ahead and put that gate back in there. And what do we need here? We're going to be having packs show up here in a second. So we need um, a ticket kiosks right here. You know. We'll rotate those, put that boom, boom. Boom. And boom. Why not? Uh, we'll throw a garbage can in there because, you know, garbage. Boom. 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 And then we need some flight info displays. Kind of sprinkle those about here. And then we'll put a garbage can. Uh, let's see. That's right down that there. Then we'll put some plants in. We just plants down here too. Uh, let's see here. Put a couple plants there, 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 there. There, that'll do. Okay, and let's see what else. Is that pretty much all we need down here? Oh, you know what? We're going to have to expand that ticketing. Okay, includes all this space. Now, hopefully, the game will register all that. We'll make it one continuous space that way. Uh, so, oh, one other thing we need to do is set up the, uh, assign the uh, desks. Okay, this is going to be first class only. Assign. This is going to be coach only. Okay. Assign. This is going to be coach only. We're not going to assign you, and this one's going to be coach only. Okay, so that one's done. Assign to first class and coach. Uh, close. This one's assigned to coach and coach. Close. You are assigned to coach and coach. And you are assigned to coach. Wait, what? Assigned to coach. All right, cool. Now that's all assigned. Everything is built. Planning is cleared. Very good. That schmutz out of the way. Um, upstairs, it's clear. They're finishing up the uh, the 
new escalator. I guess I added one wall piece too many there, so we can fix that real quick. Okay, cool. And <laughs> I still need to add all the spiffy little crap up here and stuff, but we'll get to that here in a minute. And boom. Sweet. All right, good. Just in time. And you can see Pax already using those lines. we got one more staircase that's being finished up, and now it's set. That's good. Very good. All right. So this here is effectively empty space. I guess we should wall that off. Because God knows, somebody will get stuck in it or something stupid will happen. Um, put that there, and then we'll put a staff door on the end of it. So it'll be like a staff closet or something. Oh, I already got a wall there. What a moron. I couldn't even tell. Um, okay. Let's clear that back out. Done. Alright. Very good. Zoom. Problem solved. Cool. Alright. Now we're good. Now we're cooking. Look how quick short the lines are for ticketing. That looks good. Lines for security are looking good. Ooh, now we just got a big influx of packs. See how big the influx was down here? And it wasn't even with a train, you know, dropping off. Comes a lot of people. They're splitting up pretty good. Lines are staying pretty short. They're moving pretty quick. This is good. Liking it. Liking it. All right, very good. Um, let's see. I still got some planning stuff. And then um, objects. Put a couple of these guys. Zip, zip. Cool. All right. So security's flowing, ticketing's flowing, gates are flowing, things are looking good, packs are happy, airlines seem to be uh, pretty satisfied here. Ooh, gas is getting cheap. Gas started going up the second I noticed it. Oh, we got 1.35. So this needs to be assigned to here. Oh yeah, the next expansion up here will be the restrooms up here. So we've got restrooms downstairs now. So we're going to add restrooms up here. And then quite possibly build in a first class lounge out here. Or something to that effect. So we will take care of that to take care of our peeps. But uh, yeah, things are flowing pretty good here, I think. I think, I think. Let's take a look here at the airline interest and see if we up some new flights. Now we can we can take some bigger aircraft because we can open up this uh, A5 gate. There's a Knight 76. Do we want to take that? You know what? Uh, I think we do. Take that Knight 76. And we will put that on right about. Oh wait, that's an Atlantic International 707. You know what we're going to do? We're going to pause. Hang on just a second. We're going to move this guy down here. We're going to put a Ford Air. There's a Ford Air. Well, Atlantic International has a couple flights on that gate, too. But, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Do you know Connect? Nope. Do you still know Connect? I mean, I could drop one of those stupid Dash 8s in here. Oh, actually, I can't because, well, it's a night. I put it, have to put it over there. But, um, yeah, no. Just, no. Killing me, Smalls. Nope, Union Air doesn't want to fly with us. 707. I don't, I, I want 7.6s, I'm just saying. Seven. 
Ah, Rexicana, of course. Uh, let's accept the 7 6. We'll drop that into an afternoon slot here. Looks like a good spot. What's our 7 6s? Two hours and 15 minutes. We need to add 15 minutes to this guy. Oops. And we need to add 15 minutes to this guy. There we go. Uh, let's see, Atlantic International has a 767 in the morning. We will take that flight. And we're going to kind of, again, very lightly step our way into this process here because we're adding, you know, a bunch more stuff. All right, so we got three flights through the day there. It's going to be kind of quiet on this end of the terminal for a bit. I mean, we could take a 7 0. Um. We could take a 7-0. I really don't want a 7-0. Uh, oh, Spark Jet. A 7-0. Eh. Not really what I want. Okay, let's see. That should wrap it up for now. So let's punch this through and roll it. Now, do we need to increase our vehicles? Let's see what we got over here. Uh, assign vehicles. We should have three baggage cars, two fuel trucks. That would be good eye on that just in case um, oh, because I'm a stickler for this Clean that up a little bit uh, let's see flight info displays fills out um, there that uh, pretty well fills that out cool all right we've got our late night stuff coming in packs are off let's see we're looking at 2200 bucks 2500 bucks and this guy made 1300 very nice but you guys make 1800 1200 and 1326 very nice that's good that's good Ah, oh, I didn't make it in by time or midnight. Nuts. So I'll punch it. <laughs> just move ahead. All right. So, yeah, last episode, I think uh, I just kind of rambled on about airport design and uh, some of the spacing stuff. I know they did some uh, on the edge server. They're, they've, they're working on or testing through the upgraded um, pathfinding AI, which looks really exciting, really cool. And... Um, I don't think you're going to have to do a whole lot of um, you know, uh, multi like taxiways like this. In fact, it may uh, may not work because I think the new AI set up for the planes is going to basically require it to have 10 tiles free in each direction around the aircraft or it will not taxi. So you're going to have to have like one taxiway and then an empty line and then another taxiway. Um, and then there's the new rule that you can't have a, like a building um, adjacent to the um, taxiway. So uh, that's the other thing that is being worked up. Um, and so... Uh, things to keep in mind you know for future design also i don't think the runways are gonna i mean they'll work i guess but really you're gonna need like two 
like this runway would have to be here. So you have 20 tiles in between, then you'll have full clearance, right? So um, that way um, you will have plenty of space for wing clearance and everything. Let's take a all the lines look like they're moving good. I just I totally blanked and forgot that. Oops. Security's moving through. Uh, boarding's going on. I mean, this, this is the new flight here. And 134 packs. It's not too bad. And so now look there. We got six gates working. Sweet. Oh, you know what we don't have though? We don't have seats. <laughs> we need chairs. <laughs> we need places for people to put their butts. Um, and you know what? For some reason, I don't have. Three more staff. Let's hire three more janitors. Because, I, you know, I could have sworn when. Um, gosh. What's the deal here, people? Where's my, there's staff, okay, staff are showing up now. There's a flight attendant, okay, cool, so there's a staff person to take care of them. Um, huh, well, poo. I, uh, oof, whoa, look at all these people coming along here. Yikes. Uh, oh, baggage claim. Yep, we're going to have to work on that. That's going to be next episode. To expand this to six carousels. Uh, that way we'll have every gate covered. Although, you know, not everyone comes up at the same time, but uh, they're, they're staggered in their intervals and everything. But uh, Rex Khan, dude, it's a few minutes late. Why are we late? Oh, crap. It was really late. Wait. Oh, nuts. I know what happened. Crap. A sign. Oops. <laughs> yep, that fixes that problem. <laughs> yeah, they were waiting on stupid baggage cart. Now, this one's got 167 people, so it is flowing. We're flowing pretty good here. Oh, a bunch of people show up, but it's balancing out nicely. I think our design here is looking pretty good, and we're flowing, and we're just going to roll on through this day here, and then uh, the next step will be to build uh, offices probably up here, on the, maybe on the second floor, maybe right over here. Just move those offices directly upstairs. Put in two more baggage claims, and then uh, we've already got the the hub down here for it, so that's good to go, and that'll work out. We'll just have to reroute this one. Yeah. Um, I think it'll have to get rerouted to here. We'll have to move the hub down one tile, and then we'll be good. So, cool. E O. Uh, anyway, all right. So uh, make sure you check out the channel here in the next. Uh, day or two I should have my first tower uh, tower 3d pro video coming up and that's really exciting because it's just really cool <laughs> so basically it's like this position except you're sitting on top of the tower and you can watch all the airplanes and stuff and you can tell them to taxi in or taxi out or take off and all that stuff and it's uh, voice recognition stuff so really cool I enjoy it I think you will too so look forward to that coming up here in the next couple days meanwhile we will continue working on our airport and uh, checking out the latest and greatest and what's going on here on Sam Airport on the channel. So, with that, hope uh, you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please give us a like. We appreciate it very much. Appreciate the likes, the subscribes. Uh, share with your friends. Let them know about Sim Airport, now available in early access. Link in the description below. And subscribe to the channel for more great content coming soon. Thanks a lot, everybody, for sticking around, coming on board, and hope you enjoyed it. I'm A-Train. Have a great day, no matter where you are on planet Earth or beyond. Yeah, see, I forgot that part. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.